Hi, I'm Nori, CWP Community Correspondent here with the Clean Water Partnership Stormwater Champions in Prince George's County, Maryland. Today we are visiting students and faculty at Stormwaterville Elementary School where they are participating in an educational planting event to demonstrate the importance of reducing stormwater pollution following the completion of a stormwater retrofit project at the school that captures and treats stormwater runoff. Let me tell you about the CWP and the Stormwater Retrofit Project at Stormwaterville Elementary. Following County Council approval in 2014, the Clean Water Partnership, a community-based public-private partnership between Prince George's County, Maryland and Corvius, was established to achieve regulatory compliance to address the county's aging stormwater and infrastructure needs. Today, we will meet the Stormwaterville Elementary School Environmental Green Team and Champions. We are so excited to be here with you today to talk about how the Stormwater Retrofit Project at your school benefits the broader community, helping protect the environment through stormwater pollution reduction. Did you know that there are several ways that you can reduce stormwater pollution in your community? Hmm. Let me start by asking a simple question. Who knows what stormwater pollution is and where it comes from? I do. It's water that's left after a rainstorm. When it storms, the rain goes down into the storm drain. Very good. That's correct. When stormwater falls on impervious surfaces, it can pick up pollution, trash, animal waste, chemicals, oils, and sediments that flow into local streams or bodies of water. Can anyone tell me what type of pollution might be carried down into storm drains when it rains? Trash like potato chips, wrappers, plastic bottles, and soda cans. Those are great answers. Can you think of anything else that may not be so obvious? What happens when you walk your dog? They poop. The dog poop can go down the storm drain if we don't pick it up after our pets. Ew. Ew. Correct. And did you know that soap suds, motor oil, and even grass clippings are a form of stormwater pollution that can be harmful to the environment? Wow! Pervious surfaces such as lawns, gardens, mulch, and permeable pavers can absorb water when it rains or snows. But rooftops, paved roadways, sidewalks, and other areas cannot absorb this precipitation. This causes storm water runoff, which can often carry pollutants to local streams, rivers, and other bodies of water. This project was completed by a local small construction firm who installed the device at your school. This device will help prevent stormwater pollution in our major waterways. Would you like to know more about this device? Yes! yes! Awesome! We are standing in front of a microbioretention device. It's designed to capture and filter or clean stormwater before it flows into larger bodies of water like the Chesapeake Bay, Potomac River, or Anacostia watershed. It is made up of layers of rock, sand, and aquatic plants that are native to this area and can thrive in this environment. The water flows into the Four Bay area where the rocks are designed to capture trash and sediments. The cleaner water will filter through the rocks and that creates a cleaner product for the environment and aquatic life. Today, we are going to install plants that will help create a more environmentally friendly green space for the school and neighborhood. The Clean Water Partnership is proud to partner with Prince George's County public school students just like yourselves. We consider you environmental champions. We challenge you to take care of the environment by taking care of your very own green space and organizing cleanup days here at your school. Removing litter and debris that may pollute our waterways is a great start at becoming stewards of the environment.